Hey guys, Jim Revere here. I'm all about solving problems. So today we're going to solve a problem. How you can replace all of these dumbbells with something a lot smaller and a lot more efficient for the home gym user. I'm not actually against dumbbells like this. I like it a lot. I think it's really nice and looks really good. Um, and it can be a lot of fun. But I think for a lot of, for a lot of us, um, it's just not super practical, you know, and it's kind of a pain. Uh, you know, having to also having to walk up from one side of your garage just to the other side, just to go from five to 90 pounds, it's kind of a pain. And that's why today we're going to be comparing the three main power block options. And at the end of the video, I'm going to explain which one I like the most, which one I went with for my home gym to replace to replace a five to 75 pound set of urethane dumbbells. And uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be going over cost, options, design, and so on. So without further ado, let's get to it. First option, and one of the most popular, is the Elite Series Dumbbell. And without the expansions, for 50, uh, 5 to 50 pounds, it's around 400 bucks. Um, at the time of filming the video, something to note is prices changed a lot, especially after COVID. Or if you're watching this in... Hopefully not, but if it's <laughs> if it's still considered COVID and prices are going crazy, um, this is a popular option. It's simple, simple design. It has these kind of cheap rubber looks and a little notch knob right there. Um, something nice about it is it's pretty compact, and it's color coded too, which makes it easy to use if you have people in the gym who <laughs> who need a little help. The colors are actually nice though, especially if you're fatigued during a set. It makes things nice. Something else to consider is you have add-ons. So now you can go from 5 to 70 pound set and a 5 to 90 pound set, which personally I would go with. I think if you're able to lift it, why not? It opens up a lot of doors for your home gym. Um, and for a 5 to 90 pound set, it's around 800 bucks before tax and before shipping. Something to note, power block shipping is crazy. Um, and I'll explain later on how I kind of, uh, I mean, I ordered right from their site and it kind of was a pain because the shipping was so expensive during COVID, but let's look at the next option. These are the sport EXPs, um, a gray color. The previous ones were black, slight differences rather than the color coded, uh, weight changing option. You have numbers, which can be cool. It can be nice. Not everyone who uses the gym always pays attention to that and you know sometimes they mess around with this little knob switcher and uh, you know I can see why the colors are helpful um, something interesting is right now they're on sale for 350 but only for the 50 pound set this doesn't ex include the expandable set again I would personally recommend for most people to get the expandable set 5 to 90 pounds um, and and yeah, I mean, it's, it looks like a pretty simple dumbbell. I'll, once we compare the third option, we'll go back and see what the real differences are. The third option is the Pro Series dumbbell. This is basically a very similar option as the Sport Series, except the weight plates are encased in some kind of rubber. And it looks really nice. It looks really good. But what that does is it, it expands the entire length of your dumbbell. So if we look here for the 50-pound set, the length is 12 and a half inches wide, or long, sorry. And for the 50 pound set, it's 12 inches long. So you have half an inch difference, which doesn't sound like a lot on a 50 pound um, dumbbell. And you're right, it's not half an inch. It's not a lot. But once we get onto the 90 pound dumbbells, the 80s, the 75s, 70s, and so on, um, that rubber gets bigger because the weight plates you know it adds up you have a bunch more plates on both sides and it creates a dumbbell rather than being pretty small like this to quite the long dumbbell and another problem that people have is that the the rubber over time can actually crack it can actually malfunction and that kind of ruins your whole your whole system you know if one of these plates aren't working either and you have on one of your dumbbells, if one single plate stops working, I mean, you have the option to replace it, of course, and buy a new one, or maybe send it back, but it basically puts your whole system in pause. Now, what did I go with? I went with the Sport EXP set, five to 90 pounds, because they 
are the length is much smaller it's more compact meaning you get better range of motion on a lot of your exercises it's a little more sleek it's a little more cheaper and personally i wanted to avoid the long-term potential issue with rubber cracking i didn't want to have to buy something and then contact PowerBlock customer service, email them. It's just a big headache over time, just for something as small as rubber. One complaint I do have about the Sporty XPs is because you don't have the rubber, they do clank a little bit. I mean, some people like the the nice iron sound of uh, of lifting, and I do like it. The only thing is, in a home gym, you know, sometimes we're training late, we're training at odd hours, kids are sleeping, people are sleeping, um, so you know, all the clanking can be a problem. So it's kind of like, you know, picking between rubber, where it's a little quieter, a little sleeker, potential to crack, and picking between the classic, you know, the classic look, the classic noise, and so on. And my least favorite pick, honestly, unless, you know, if you're on a budget, this is a great option, but I'm, I'm just really not a fan, is the classic USA Elite series. Um, really just because of the design and the... be honest the colors the bulkiness the blockiness it looks like something out of minecraft or you know some kind of kids video game or a kids toy um which isn't bad i mean it has functionality it's good it's a good product and you'll get the same workout potentially unless ah, okay here's a great photo actually of the 5 to 90 look of the uh sport exps i mean that's a clean dumbbell it looks professional it looks you know something about building a home gym is also making Making your home gym, you know, look like uh, look like how you want it. I mean, it's part of the vibe. It's part of part of the whole uh, part of the experience. I mean, we're not building a home gym, you know. Th- like this is this is goals. We're not building like a little kids' toy factory. But on a budget, go for it. <laughs> and no, <laughs> sorry to roast all you guys who went with it, but let me know what you think, guys. If you have any questions, any uh, comments, not only would will I do my best to answer it, but also the community. Helps with a lot of, uh, you know, good points and tips. So feel free to shoot them below. We'll catch you later. Out.